Now, um, I'm going to ask you for some advice for two categories of people. First, let's say um, the young people who are coming into marketing, young professionals, maybe internship level, one to two years experience, and then maybe some of the seasoned communicators who are looking for a job, maybe have been relocated um, or need a new job. Um, what would be advice for you um, and just um, advice for them in terms of how to get a great position in marketing and, and, make, and make contacts in the D.C. area? To new marketers, the, the best advice that I can give is gain experience. And I say that, you know, that sounds trivial, but it's, it's really not because there, there are less opportunities out there for, for seasoned marketers today. Um, the economy has led to, you know, high attrition rates in the marketing sector. Um, so more experienced people are taking on additional responsibilities. We're starting to see a lot of very experienced people being pushed out of jobs. Uh, it's a big issue. You know, the economy is starting to rebound, so that's a good thing. Um, but in order to you know, set yourself apart, I think new marketers need to gain experience and they can do that through a variety of ways. Internships, uh, but make sure that it's an internship of value um, or volunteering at organizations like the AMA where you can be an active part of an organization that practices marketing on a daily basis and runs like a business. So you can get some real hands-on experience uh, that I think will be very, very uh, so you can get some hands-on experience that will be very valuable on a resume and enhance chances of securing a good job. So they can do marketing for the Marketing Association. Absolutely. What better fit would that be? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and what about the person who's got, you know, 15, 20 years of experience and now they find themselves out of a job and maybe they're wondering if they should learn new skills or just build a whole new set of, go into another industry perhaps. What, what advice would you have for them, you know, kind of given this D.C. area and its, it's unique culture? You know, it's an interesting question, and I, I just blogged about this a couple of weeks ago. Oh, you have a blog? Um, I do, yes. It's called The President's Post. Oh, uh, great. And it's on the AMA DC LinkedIn site. Okay, well, we'll, we'll link to that. <laughs> okay, terrific. And we'll, we're eventually going to move it over to our new website, which is going to be launching in a couple of weeks. Oh, great. Uh, and I also have a personal marketing blog called uh, uh, On The Mark Marketing Blog, Friend and On The Mark. Okay. Um, but in any case, um, I did blog about this just a couple of weeks ago, and, and the advice I would give to experienced marketers is very similar to what the advice I would give novice marketers. Maintain the level of um, activity by volunteering for organizations like AMA, by, by getting engaged in other ways that you can enhance your marketing skills. If you're trying to change careers, it's a very difficult time, I think, to change careers when there are less jobs out there, meaning that you're competing for those jobs against more people that are more experienced in that particular area than you might be. Mm -hmm. um, but you can enhance your, your, uh, your knowledge and your strengths in that area by volunteering and getting more involved with organizations where you can play a more hands-on role. Um, but also, you know, taking a job right now, of course, the most important thing for everyone is, you know, to earn a paycheck. You need to be able to pay your mortgage, you need to support your, you know, your families, you need to put food on the table. So even if you have to settle on a job that might not be ideal, mm -hmm. you can take that job and try to incorporate components of your ideal job into it if, right. as they relate to marketing and communications, um, which I think also makes you a more valuable employee and might ultimately lead to that ideal job. But if nothing else, it will keep your, it will hone your skills so that when you do move on to that, that ideal job, you know, you're not going to be rusty. Oh, that's great advice.